Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we're going to be continuing our let's play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left up last time, we were in the House of Hope. We picked up the gloves of Hill Giant Strength, we found our contract, broke it. Now the place doesn't like us very much and we still have to free Hope itself, I guess. Herself? I'm not entirely clear if she is like an entity or is literally just a dwarf. It's very unclear as to what she is. Who is taking burning damage? Anyways, let's mosey out here. Uh, there's definitely someone else here, out here that doesn't like us. Hope is out here. What path lies before me? What is a hell sphere? That looks bad. Um. Yes, it's totally normal. Okay. Uh. Done. What exactly is it? Hellish Sphere ability during bullets? Because we did a thing onto it. What does Hellish Sphere do? Enemies and objects within three meters of the sphere at the end of their turn take three to six fire damage. On a successful save, they still take half damage. Well, let's just move back then. We don't really need to be here for this. That's at the end of the turn, right? So that's pretty good. Now, he's not technically in this fight. If he moves out, though, I think he'll be caught. Yeah, he's in combat now. Okay, well, it's now his turn, which actually kind of sucks. Um, I'm guessing that uh, Scorching Ray is going to do very little uh, for us in this fight. Do we have... What's it weak against? Fire immunity, necrotic immunity, lightning resistance, psychic immunity, poison. It doesn't have any weaknesses, it just has resistances to everything. It has a pretty good armor class too, which is a little unfortunate for us. Uh, he's not going to be doing as much damage as normal, because a lot of his damage comes from necrotic damage. Well, Survivors let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, you're done your turn, too. Okay, so it hits real hard. We can't be sending it to it at the end of, its, at the end of our turn, but we can lay waste to it, hopefully. Oh, it's got such good resistances. This is going to be real bad. What is it less resistant to? Nothing. It's just really resistant to everything. Um, yeah, that's not going to be good. Let's try Soul Breaker. It missed. I'm going to move back. Oh, this is going to be such a bad fight. Minthara's turn, I guess. She has no smites available. Fire's gonna be worthless. I mean, that did okay. the door. I've missed this. Can rocks open doors? This is gonna be something exciting to try and figure out. Can a rock open the door? Well, so much for peace. It cannot. Oh, this is gonna be super easy then. Oh, it's burning the door down. Never mind. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. Well, there's nothing we can do about that particular situation. It's just going to burn down over time, and uh, Fresh orders. that's where we're at, I guess. There goes the door. Target's too far. What kind of world are we living in? Go back somewhere else. 
And then back up as what much as you can. Watching me? And that's probably okay. And you can't do much. I'll move away. Alright. It's coming in. It didn't move as far as I... Maybe you can't fit through the door. I thirst for combat. Still too far. Can you roll through the door? No, it's stuck. Okay. So, we know how to survive this fight now. It literally can't get through the door. Yes. Not sure how we're going to deal with the roiling hellfire situation here. I guess we can just fly over it, honestly. Problem solved. You think it has loot? No, right? That'd be insane. It's a spear of hellfire. We're gonna move everyone individually out here. So as not to get Oh, it's gone. Okay, never mind. Everyone group up. At least things have stayed interesting. Do you have loot? No. Okay. Let's continue through this house of nightmares. On my way. That leads out to this platform with the rat. There is this guy up ahead. Hope is there. And has now become a vengeful imp. That's actually not that bad. Of all the things that could have. Wait, where's Minthara? Silent. Lethal. How did you get to the front and not get into combat? I'm actually a little bit impressed by that. Can we perhaps throw the trident? Yes. Yes, we can. It's supposed to return to us. Maybe on her turn. It definitely did not return to us. Who's next? On my way. Well, we'll wait for the fire to go out. You didn't do a very good job at returning to me. Let's hope I'll return to your hand when thrown. I've been lied to. It did not return to my hand when thrown. Done. It just hit the imp and fell to the ground. Maybe I was too far away or something? I don't know. There's definitely a shameful eternal debtor here. It's going to be something, I'm sure. We should shoot with someone else and let our main character do a full blast against whatever it ends up being. It didn't die. Hmm. Time to strike. I don't love that situation. You are killing me here. It's the dog version, okay. Sometimes the only way out is through. And it died. How are we still in combat? Oh, we're in combat with that thing. Let me is it gonna come to us? Yes. Maybe? Where did it go? Oh. It didn't really move that far, did it? Uh, well, there's an import now in combat with, but bright side. Let's have some combat. The only person actually in combat is Looking Asterion ahead. at the moment, so let's hide, and move up. I don't think I have line of sight to shoot him though, These without this seen everything. fire going away, which I don't think it's gonna do. Never mind. Uh, yeah. And it's gone. Okay, we're almost at the boudoir. We've almost fought through half of the dungeon. 
Where was hope again? Find hope. It's over there. We are currently... Those are our ghouls. I was like... Yeah, we're currently here. We're starting to, we're trying to fight our way across there. I wonder if it would have been better to cut through the middle. One day I'll oh, catch too break. late now. Wait, am I going the right way? What the heck? Just exp oh, another hell sphere. This is a very bad place for that to have spawned. Nothing important is ever easy. Okay. Okay. This is fine. We go into the boudoir where we're safe. In theory, it can't get through here either. I am fury. I am death. In practice, don't know if that's going to work, but that's my hope. Wasn't expecting that. Should have been expecting that. Man, these things make this dungeon very hard Unleash to get through. Me. You are not done your turn. You need to fly over there. I'm ready. Come on. Can't stay idle. Well, let's see what happens. Oh no, it could definitely come through. It came through. Oh, that hurt. Yep, do that. Do you think if we stand in the water, it'll die? Can you really not be in range? I mean, it was not the best Time amount of damage I've ever again. done, but swift as my feet can carry me. I mean, we're standing in water, right? Actually, we could probably just heal endlessly with the uh, restoration down. Maybe. I don't know what to do against this thing. It just doesn't take any damage. Taking position. Ready for battle. A wise move. In it comes. It can't come into the water, maybe? Can't even catch my breath. Immune to critical. Yeah, that's fine. Just thought it was funny. Everything is gonna burn. Man. Raphael's gonna be very unhappy. Another fight. That his own hellsphere is burning his boudoir to the ground. Maybe that will be mitigated somewhat by the fact no oh, no don't don't do that. Don't run. By the fact that we are uh Free of our contract, that might piss him off way more. Blood comes easy these days. It's just I'm not gonna bother attacking the other people. No choice it's just a keep painful experience and I don't care that much. Okay. Moving ahead. Problem solved. Let's wait for the uh, hellfire to dissipate somewhat before we go into the next area. If we weren't level 12 coming into here, we would probably get level 12 pretty easily in here. These things are worth quite a bit of experience. The uh, Hell Spheres are worth 400 apiece, which is pretty good. We are, of course, at max level. I know that there are mods that would allow us to... Am I not wearing my gear? I know we're glamoured, but is that... We're definitely wearing our gear, right? Enough waiting. I crave blood. Okay, I might have shrunk my screen a little by accident. That looks about right. Okay. We're definitely wearing our gear because we have weapons. Have a lot on my mind. But it actually shows him as having well, not wearing anything. Oh, he isn't wearing anything. I'm not sure that anything really turns on that. Well, I mean, other than the slight bit of damage. I don't know why I have Featherfall boots still. That's kind of pointless. Actually, my gear's not even that great. Yeah, I guess. Did we have shoes? 
We had tasteful boots. What was our other clothing? I, nope, that's our debtor's attire. Homely clothes. There we go. Alrighty. That's better. And it's even got the right buffs. Okay. We're going to continue on. We can always go back and heal there, which is nice. Oh, there's more things here. Or another thing here, I should say. How delicious. I want you to come over here. Don't get caught. What did I just say? That's 62 damage. That was actually a really good amount. That is a Vengeful Maragon. Which I don't think we're going to be able to kill in one fell swoop with an Eldritch Blast. We hit it, but just not for enough. That was not particularly good, but it wasn't the worst either. Can you do another action? Yeah. Can you be seen? Yeah. Except if you walk backwards a couple inches. Let's have a little fun. Whoops. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Like what that. now? Alright, next turn. Ow. I can't believe you've done this. Uh, no. Oh, I should have gone and stabbed him. Oh well. Or thrown a spear, maybe. Well, that doesn't seem to work all the time. Dying for me. All Fight complete. Moving on. You know, those things give an experience, too. The... I think there's going to be another ball that appears there, probably. There's no other doors for us to... Ah, oh, there is, actually, right there. I think we could probably sit out there. Maybe? Hopefully. I'm willing to bet it's going to explode out any second now. Not going to explode? A little surprised, honestly. Oh, you're here. Yeah. Um, well, hello. What are you in actuality? Another Maragon. Where do I go from here? That was actually a shockingly good Eldritch Blast. Barrage, and it's dead. That's the way out of here. These boots have seen so let's everything. go see her. The prison hatchway. Oh, we actually have to go down into the prison. I could have just left. Careful. The jailer will swallow you whole if you take another step. And you won't be able to see me while you're being digested. What is the jailer? The prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. The whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. And I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this coop on a hope and a prayer. Any advice when it comes to fighting Raphael? Don't! But if you must... Make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. Let's do this. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. I don't know what the jailer is, but I have a feeling we're going to find out really soon. There's hope. There's a bunch of imps. That's the jailer. It's got to be. It's a beholder of some sort. Oh, there's two spectators in here. That's less than good. That's a lot of potential damage coming in. The imps I care less about. Don't waste a step. I wonder if we can just... Oh no, we need to hammer these things, I'm guessing. There's no way we're sneaking in there. 
Ah, uh, what's the best way to do this? Jump up and just attack a spectator? One at a time, I guess? Seems like a really bad... There's a way over... Wait, there's a back way. Where does this go? Oh, I were... Taking a look... Oh, the tactical view is much worse. Okay, no tactical view. If I were a non-tactical view person... Where could we go? Can we land here? Yes. And if we're quick, we might be able to get somewhere else, but I don't think that's a great idea. Alrighty, we're going to make another attempt at this fight. It's actually a pretty tough fight. The imps are just kind of annoying, honestly. They're not that hard, necessarily, but they're irritating. They're just irritating enough that we need to kill them fast, but also the spectators with their paralyzing ray are also really annoying. This is a quick load from an attempt where we were in a pretty good position to start with, so um, I'm going to do a cunning action hide and let them come to us. I don't know if any of them are going to come out, though. It's possible they don't know where any of my group members are, which it does appear to be the case, so good. Now, unfortunately, Asterion isn't great at uh, ranged stuff. He's, it's possible we'll be able to shoot this imp here. Break them. And then we can try and get cunning action dash back around Let's the go. corner. Cunning action hide. And we'll see what happens. Might be able to take down an imp or two using this method, although we don't do a whole lot of damage, so. It is working though. They're not coming out, so let's try it again. Guessing. Feel their anguish. Could you please just die? Actually, I actually don't think I need to go anywhere either. I can just back up like two feet. Cutting action hide. Yep, that's working out pretty well. Good. If we can shoot one or two of these down before we have to do the actual fight, that would be good. So what happened in one of our other attempts uh, was... Spectators came through here like we hoped they would. But they paralyzed a good chunk of our group. Two people. And then uh, our main character got Eldritch Blast off the, blasted off the edge and uh, died. So it wasn't ideal. And now we get to see how broken Cunning Action Hide is. Although we need a target, and there's no one really close to us right now. Possibly this one, I guess, is the closest. With pleasure. Yep, and then we just walk back a couple sec. So they this is no a really way. broken way to play. But if we can kill the Ems, I'm actually going to be happy about it. The spectators are the worst part of the fights, but the imps just kind of make it annoying. We won't be able to kill all of them using this method. At some point, we're going to run out of ones that are in range of our crossbow. Let's play. But for now, the subtle approach. Did we go anywhere that has some room? Now, nah, if we go up there, we'll just definitely be seen flying across. And I don't think anyone else is really in range. Maybe that one? Although I don't really want to do that. Shooting down imps with 33 hit points for a couple turns is not the worst use of time. Shooting down a spectator over the course of like a million shots is going to be just too much. So I think having done that and killed two of them, I'm going to move all the way back here, which is not a, a great place. I'm going to save here. This is a good place to save. And we're going to unhide. And let them come to us. Here we go. They know where we are now. Let's see if they come. Come on. Someone. Okay. Uh... 
Don't linger. Well, no one's out here. You could maybe start this fight in a little bit of a different Pretty way. Okay, let's more. hide. Stay let's get some of these people out. I shouldn't linger. We can move them into areas out of sight. where they can maybe be helpful. Taking my time in the shadows. And actually, our main character might be able to shoot something from this range. Eldritch Blast has a pretty good range on it. Let's see what we can do. Can you move up a little? Yeah, look at... Oh, path is interrupted. What's the path interrupted? Oh, it's by the pole thing. Okay, move up to here then. Good. All right, let's do this. Let's save, because this could go really wrong. I mean, we already saved, so... He's joined the battle. He's now standing right in the middle, though, and that's really a bad place to be. What's that? Dance macabre. Uh, our main character's gonna get pulverized. Well, let's see what happens. That one's flying over. I'm not gonna. Help. I'm not gonna do that. We got pushed back though, which is nice. And now everyone's in the fight. Now, unfortunately, they're all in like a. Let's try and charm one. Why not? Hey, we got one. Nice. It's been charmed. These are what I'm a little more worried about. They're going to move. Oh, they're moving there. That's not a great place. Uh, we are paralyzed with Minthara. Bad news. And Sterian got hit. And is now paralyzed as well. That one's hurt pretty badly. Okay. I think I'm gonna start. I think I'm gonna shart. Nice. I think I'm gonna start shooting at the imps first. Did we kill that one? Good. I want to make sure they die. I could slay her up here, but I think I'm gonna save it because I don't know what's gonna happen. Don't bother charming. It wore off too soon to be useful. Minthara's taking some damage. And he's still paralyzed. He's coming down here though. Oh, to chomp down on our main character. Alright, let's go beat the hell out of this thing. As much as we possibly can. Let's try a soul breaker. It did stun him. That's great for us. I think we're just gonna go all in. Actually, I'm gonna come up here. He's stunned, so I'm actually okay with that. I need to kill this other imp. That was a pretty good turn. We still have another imp to kill, but not the worst that we could have done. Our main character is just getting beaten to death. And is down down. Don't go anywhere. We saved versus Fear Ray, which is nice. Two characters paralyzed. Our ghouls are coming in. Our main character is down, so we can't do anything about that. Uh, and that one's stunned. So that's still good. How long is he stunned for? I don't know, but I don't care. Let's do as much as we can to this guy. I don't think that you can trip a flying creature. I don't think you can disarm them. Maneuvering won't really work. Distracting might not do anything. It doesn't matter. Might frighten them, though. Did frighten him. Nice. Uh, let's just keep beating this one to death. Our main character made one good saving throw, so that's a plus. Another ghoul going. Not particularly useful. I don't think I can nearly get anywhere at the moment. Imp is blasting away, being annoying. But Minthara might be up this turn. That one's frightened. But it's still attacking us. And paralyzed Minthara. So no, Minthara won't be doing anything this turn. And is in fact paralyzed again. We're going to do a bunch of damage to this one and try and kill it. 
didn't quite kill it. So close though. 13 health left on that one. Maybe the ghoul will kill it. Or maybe not. Still stunned. That one's dead. How's our character doing? Oh, he's going to stabilize all on his own. Look at that. Good. Can't kill this one, I don't think, this turn. We did daze it, though. I guess that's good enough. Come on, ghoul. You can do it. What did... Where did he go? What was he doing there? Stop shooting my people. Alright, fight's over. We successfully survived, no more or less. Let's get our main character back up. We're actually not in too bad a shape either, aside from our main character who took a ton Fresh of damage. If we can do a healing potion throw or two on Minthara and our main character, we'll be in a lot better shape. Let's do that, I think. Maybe one more. And actually, we should get Sterian in there too if we can. Keep a blade close. Okay, let's try that one more time. Let's get going. Wasn't the best heal in the world, but such is life sometimes. That was pretty good. Okay, we're we're pretty set. All right, so Action, not reaction. Uh, our main character so can breathing. do this. What do we got Despite for loot on everything. the spectators? We have a ring, burnished ring, paralyzing ray. It's actually a pretty okay ring, honestly. Paralyzing ray is powerful. I might put that on in a second here. And let's grab that. Some money. I don't think the imps will have anything useful, but we can check. Two gold. Probably not. Alright. Uh, let's get up here and break the first stone. There are a lot of skeletons in here. I'm guessing a lot of people died in this particular place. It does seem like that kind of an area. One? Can I teleport? Can I fly all the way over here? Nice. I think. Fall by my hand. You are hope. Heads will but we must dress the holly fint in the room. I can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. Our characters are looking staring straight at her. Tell me how bad it is. Hideous. I can barely stand to look at you. I shall find a breathable sack to wear in my noggin. But only after we escape. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onward! How powerful are you, Hope? I'm hoping you're good. I can't really see. You're level 10. You can jump a long way. That's a plus. All right, guys, let's uh, head upstairs, I guess. There's nothing. We freed Hope. I get, I don't. Really quickly before we head up though, was there any other treasure around that we should have been looking at? I mean, there was this corpse and this craggy rock over here. Where does that go? Maybe I should go check that out first. Could lead to treasures or a way to not die, possibly. Go there. I find that pathing so weird. The around the island thing. I'm not seeing any sort of... treasure in the dungeon. Which isn't super surprising, just... I want to look around, you know? Can we free these people? Or blow them up? We can talk to them, apparently. I should speak up. Imprisoned in body, mind, and soul. A heavy price for whatever deal she struck. Worth one whole extra, uh, 
Yeah, experience. This one appears to have won a taste of freedom just before they died. Grim. All right, let's go take a look at what's upstairs. This craggy rock leads to where? Oh. No, it's just out here. I mean, all right, I guess. Might have been nice to know about that, though, beforehand. All right. Well, we are pretty close to the way out. This is the portal room. Uh, this is probably where we're going to fight Raphael, but we can quickly run. I guess we didn't really need to use our potions, but uh, let's go back to here. What's that thing? There's like a... The whole situation going on there. Let's get in here, though. Restore ourselves. Yeah, that's better. Now we're feeling good. I'm going to take one quick look at this. See if we can perception check it or something. Yes. Okay, save in case we fail everyone's. Trust no one. Asterion, you have the best perception. An inert infernal gem. Oh, this is good. Actually, he does have the best will save, technically, or wisdom save. And he critically succeeded. I pressed an infernal control gem. I don't know what that does. Should I know what that does? We never actually went down into this east hall. Or maybe we did. Yeah, I think we did. We walked through here on the way in. Okay, well, let's go. I don't know what that did. If anything. But we pressed it, so... Deep that's cool. And move. Let's save and then head into the room and uh, face off against Raphael. This could be the end of our campaign. Maybe. Where's Hope? Or our ghouls, for that matter. Let's see what this does. Salty air, the patter of feet. Baldur's Gate lies beyond. We can't leave. Hey, Ethkala. Let's go into Baldur's Gate too. The splendid city of Athkatla hums beyond Never the winter. Portal. Jewel of the North. Waterdeep, the crown of the North. This portal leads directly to the frigid citadel of Mephista, nestled in the hells. Secrets of the port city of Luscan flutter behind this portal. Menzo Baranzan, the jewel of the Underdark, lies beyond. We can't leave that way. We have to go to the foyer. Where is... Oh. Hopefully she'll appear in the cutscene. Oh, there's something else down here. Oh, there's a bunch of things down here. Well, that's irritating. There's a bunch of things here. But, I mean, there's like eight of them. Quite a few. Okay, well, let's start blasting away at them, I guess. See what they do. One, two, three. Two of them are imps, apparently. They're vengeful. Allegedly. Critical miss. Let's run back. Don't close the door. Just... Yeah. Just come back here a little bit. Still on my feet. I'd rather have my melee what people in front anyways. Alright. It's fine. Oh, they're coming in. That one's coming in. Probably not the best idea on its part, but whatever. Other one are going to Eldritch Blast too. No. Alright. Let's get in there and beat this one to death. And 
dead. Yeah, that was a critical hit. I should have fielded that one. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyways. Alright, um... Maybe we can wake up the other ones. The other ones are not awake. Maybe we don't even need to kill them. But what if we do? Alright, let's just leave them and see what happens. The fire wore off anyways. No, but they definitely joined the fight. Okay. Well, live and learn. give in. That one's a boar. Actually, all of the other ones joined, it looks like. Did that really just pick up... Oh, someone else just joined the fight, I see. Oh, I did something very stupid. I used normal hide instead of the other hide. Ow. That was rude. I will enjoy this. Okay, that one's dead. Who's next? I mean, it's gonna explode into flames the moment we attack it, right? So, let's get that started. One hit point left. These guys are coming in too. They're all immune to burning. That one blew himself up. And got a new turn. Seems kind of unfair, honestly. Don't react, Sentinel, Sentinel. Ow. We're gonna need to do a heal after this, I think. Uh, whose turn Still is it? Breathing. Your Despite turn. Everything. Kill that one. Make sure it dies. Uh, next person. Let's grab Minthara and just go in and stab Die, that one. Iblis. It's going to explode and make a new one. We're going to go get healed up after this anyway, so it doesn't matter. So let's just get in there and make sure it dies very fast. We need to fly in there. Standing on all the lovely food, which I think is wasteful. Okay. Done. Let's leave. And uh, quickly go heal up. No, never mind. With haste. Back to the boudoir. I don't know where Hope went at all. But, uh, yeah. I'm sure she'll appear or not, as she decides to do. At least she can't die if she's nowhere to be seen, I guess. This is the best room ever. I wish I had permanent access to this. Although, to be fair to Divinity Original Sin, you kind of did, because you could use the bed rolls infinitely. Which is basically a full healing whenever you wanted it to be. Night time to rest. Let's go Let's down here. I'm not going to loot the, these enemies. They're not worth it. The foyer is going to be interesting, though, I think. I don't know where hope is, I don't care. Time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. Oh dear. The master of the house is coming. Hello. You. Me. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, 
the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there are rules. You have broken the most important rule of all and committed the cardinal sin. You went against your word and defied our contract. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Your host is in. Di I'm going to save right here because I don't know how this is going to pan out. Your host is in disarray. The guards couldn't stop me from freeing hope. Sister, oh sister, I've wept and I've cried, but all would be well if you were by my side. Oh, hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla, tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then Hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Oh, can we persuade this thing? All right, let's see. Join the winning side. Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me. This is going to be one hell of a DC. DC 30, we need a six or above. We have an inspiration, I think, still. We have two inspirations, actually. We have succeeded at the persuasion check. To stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Yeah. Well, I'm kind of looking forward to this fight, so I've been hoping to kill you since I met you. Hope. It always burns you in the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. Alrighty, we're going to try this fight again. The first time it did not go according to plan. In fact, it went quite poorly. This, uh, this time is going to go much better, though. I'm going to attack with the Starion first, actually. Just because the sneak attack might not work afterwards. That was a solid first round hit. That was not the best bite in the world, but I'll take it. Alright. Our goal is to literally kill one of these guys before the fight has actually really started. 
We've joined the battle, and he has got one hit point hell, left. Of course hell, he does. Hell, I think we'll stand in my way. Effect in the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now down here come the claws. Also, the music for this fight is A+. Plus. It is so good. Pretty hard there. Yeah, we did lose our weapons again. That was the one of the main things in the last fight that was very annoying. We kept losing our weapons, but there's nothing we can do about it at this particular second. All right, we need to disarm this one if we can. She did lose her weapon, which means she's actually kind of worthless. Let's go try and take on another one. If we can knock out two other weapons, I'd be pretty happy. Nice. Okay, good. That was a solid start to our turn. Let's deal some damage now. Critical hit. That was really good. We're going to use our action surge right away here. Try and kill this one off. Possible, but not likely that we're gonna do it. Um, let's try it. Okay. It did die. I was worried it wasn't gonna die, so I was hoping it'd be frightened even if we didn't kill it. That one's now dazed. So Raphael's over there. There's still another vengeful cambion here. Let me strike. Uh, we can go down and fight it, I guess. We're just going to go all in on Divine Smites here. You will break. Pretty solid hit. We're actually out of spell slots for Divine Smites. Or maybe we can only do one a turn. Either way. Part of actions. But why? What happened to our next attack? Well... Make sure Aura of Courage is up. And let's get a Hunter's Mark. On that one. Should have done that first, but such is life. Didn't think about it at the time. Uh, we do need to heal a little bit. So if I move to here... We only have one channel, two channel Divinity Charges. Our main character is not in range. We'll take an AOO if we move further. But then again, I don't think I care if I take an AOO with her. We also got pretty good armor. That's fine. 17 damage. We're going to gonna heal a bunch. I need to move more. That's okay. I guess that's as far as we're going to go. Uh, it hits all the people I need to heal. So, except for Asterion, but he's too far back. Detected and it's two charges to do that. Fair enough. Alright. Um, we guess do a healing word. That could hit Asterion. There we go. Don't take an AOO pointlessly. You could have hit that one. Why are you taking so many AOOs for no reason? Hmm. 
I mean, that did hit Minthara, but I'm actually okay with that. That did a lot of damage. Get that stupid thing off. Who do we want to attack? Not him right now. He's got a million defense. We could kill her, possibly. That'll kill that one. Good. Grab our weapons back. It's very annoying we lost them, but such is life. Uh, I want to get Rhapsody back on first, even though it's going to be our main hand weapon. Can't attack this turn, but we can... Is he in line of sight? Yes, but no. Okay. He'll be fine for this turn. Did some damage to him with that psychic backlash. Uh, she's gonna need to lay on hands herself or something. This is gonna be unfortunate. Oh no, we've lost the hammer, which I guess is kind of important. Didn't do a whole lot. Good. Let's start ruining this. Ambien's life. Damn, it didn't get disarmed. Oh well. Nothing I can do about that. Is this a bonus action? No, it's our action action to lay on hands. That eternal debtor is gonna blow up and deal a bunch of damage, which is gonna be very annoying. But there's not a lot I can do about that right now. I really don't want to go in close to Raphael at the moment either. But I think I have to go there. Oh, no, I don't. I can go somewhere else and fight something else. I could fly over here and face off against this one, or even come up here and help fight this one. But I think it might be the better choice. Asterion can flee away. Lilalo. Why oh, took so much damage as retaliation damage? What is doing that? Maybe it's Divine Smite that does that. If we smite him, we get a bunch of damage to launch back in our faces, which hurts a lot. Okay, I'll remember that. We should not do that if we can help it. Um, I really wish we had better spells. So we have Cure Wounds. Although, upcasting Cure Wounds is not super useful, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. How much does it heal again? Mask your wounds at level 5 for 28 healing. That might be our best bet. Wait, not mass healing word, mass cure wounds. They're not the same spell. How many can I choose? One for sure. Two. How's Lazel? Lazel's basically full life. Three. Wait, did that not hit him? You're not close enough? Okay, it's okay, we can move a little bit. Oh, <laughs> go away. Okay. Not Mask Cure Wounds. Keep almost screwing that up. Wait, no, Mask Cure Wounds is the right one. It's not Mass Healing Words. Yes, that's better. Okay. You. You. No, he's on the side. Could you stop? Still has sight. Okay, fine. Your main character, my main character's not getting one. Although that'd be kind of pointless then. Ah, oh, damn it! I ruined this whole situation. Okay, what's the lowest mass cure wounds I can do? There isn't one. That is the lowest one. <gasps> oh well, Asterion does need the healing really badly. Our main character isn't hurt that bad, I guess. I'll heal him. I need to heal Thara for sure. I should double cast on people. 
This feels kind of wasteful, but whatever. And Thor wasn't really healed that much, which I don't love. I really wish you hadn't done that. Although those are all almost dead, so that's kind of nice. All the imps are gone. This guy is still right here though, and that's not ideal. Let's Slayer up. At the very least, we can soak up some damage with the Slayer form, because it's pretty strong. Now you need to disengage and get the hell out of there, because you're going to die otherwise. In fact, you can come over here. Stab this guy in the back. Didn't do as much damage as I'd hoped, but... That sucked. Uh, the Cambion's good to go. We really need to destroy these statues eventually. Oh, they're starting to take damage. That's nice. Minthar has a three, and it's going to go down. Disarming strike? Here's some strike. Okay, that's fine. That was a painful critical hit, though. I really wish you hadn't crit there. Okay, that one's dead. Should we start beating down these pillar statues, I guess? No soon? He's gonna have to do another heal, I think. And on herself. And... One, two, three. Who am I missing? She can't target herself. Okay, well, good enough then. Minthara's back up. He is very hurt and probably will die again soon. We could just fire out a masculine word, though. Try and give her a bit more health back. Okay. You can't do much this turn, but she can Misty step away and not die. That is a plus. That wasn't particularly useful, but thanks. I guess. Okay, we kill this one for sure. Then we come over here and start beating this one to death. percent chance to hit. Ten percent chance to hit. Not very good chances to hit. Let's just leave that as is. You can you can use a healing potion in Slayer form. Well, that's interesting. Not particularly useful, but interesting at the very least. Kill that guy. Fly away. Planning action dash. Get up here. Next turn, we're going to equip our sword. Can we do that now? No. Alright, next turn we're going to have to equip our sword, or the other dagger maybe, to make sure we have the proper offhand situation going on. And then we can actually do some damage. Can we do mobile shot now? We need to necrotic damage, but it took six. So I'll take it. Another one of those stupid things just appeared. He's looking for this guy. But it's gonna burn our main character instead. Fine, whatever, don't care too much about that. Let's start destroying these statues. I think we have to kill them. If we can kill one a turn, maybe that would be good. They don't take a huge amount of damage, do they? I'm gonna get her away from this whole situation. Um. Got like a guiding bolt on that one and blow it up. Balladra! At the very least, it'll just make its thing pop out, which is fine, I guess. No one's in range of this, and I don't really want to waste the spell, so. Damn, he actually did a fair amount of damage to, uh. 
Raphael there. He's invisible again. I love his invisible thing. That's pretty cool. Do we kill this thing first? Almost certainly, right? Nope, because we're not going to be able to. Never mind, it's dead. I lied. Alright, we need to put a dagger on. We need him to do his bonus attacks more than we need him to do this one big main attack. They're kind of important. It's Raphael's turn. We've got some of the statues going, or some of the soul things going. He's consuming souls again. He's got five soul charges he's healed up, which does happen. One statue down. I don't need to miss this if I can fly over there. We're gonna come help with this one. Okay. Fresh orders. Done. Hope I need to move this way. But he's hurt. Something's going on with him. What's soul overcharge? He's consumed the power of a destroyed soul pillar. He's unable to cast spells using souls until he transforms into the Ascended Fiend. Well, that sounds really bad. What's the Ascended Fiend? Everyone got healed a little. I mean, 10% damage. That's it, it's not going to be particularly good, but we'll Ray of Frost him, anyways. We just go and attack him? He has such high defense, though, we're never going to be able to hit him. He did a bunch of damage to the, that thing, at least. Oh, we did a little bit. Detected. Okay, what are you doing now? Fiendish Ascension. Okay, this is what is happening now. We hit him again. Okay, he destroyed a statue and knocked someone down in a single hit. I think we can just not get her up at the moment. Okay, so he will... Okay, so we need to take down the rest of the pillars, basically, is what this boils down to. Two pillars are down. Get across in time, though. Unless we miss a step. Really? Right then. Okay, let's move over to here. Let's get another mass. Do I have mass cure? No, I just have normal cure wounds. Get Minthara back up, even though she is pretty hurt at this point in time. Can we guiding bolt this thing? Sure, it's 100% just hit. Alright, we have one statue, one pillar left to go. Ready for battle. You don't have an action this turn. I need you to just not die. So fly, like, way over here. You can heal yourself next turn or something. Layer is done its well not done its turn, but uh, we're gonna go and do the lunge over to here. Do a bunch of damage to the pillar. Alright, all the pillars are dead. I don't know if that's good or bad for our outcome of this fight. 
but we'll find out, I guess. I can get into range and attack him this turn, but is that suicide? Am I going to die if I do this? Well, no point in trying... Uh, we might be able to hit him. We should get plus going, probably. Did some damage, at least. This turn now. He's back down to normal. Let's try and rip him. Critical miss. Okay, let's try Soul Breaker. Saved versus Soul Breaker. That sucks. But let's try and trip him again. He's down on the ground, which is nice. Let's full heal, or at least greater healing on her. He got a good chunk of her life back. Move up to here. We can come in next turn, I guess, and help out. In the meantime, we can't do Bless, never mind. He can do Bless, though, on four people. Damn it. Okay, move up a little. One, two. Nope, that's three people. Does our main character still have natural Bless? Minthar has Bless on him or herself currently. Our main character doesn't have Bless on himself. That's gonna have to be fine. Let's go one. Lazelle for sure. She out of range? She's out of line of sight. Okay, fine. We're going with these three. Oh, there's four people. Damn it. Okay, we need to get her in line of sight. If I go backwards a little, can I see her? I see a Sarian, so I'm guessing maybe. Yes. One, two. Wait, no. Go to level two version. One, two, three. Okay, they're all blessed and good to go. She just has to not die. Let's heal them all again for a little bit. The six hole damage. Whatever, fine. You're helping, I guess. I'm gonna unslay her, I think. Need to get up here. my way. That was some damage. We should hex him too, probably. And make it charisma checks, I think. I have to go see what my dog's barking about. Give me one sec, sorry. Alright, we're continuing our fight. We did some damage to him. He's down to 426. I'm going to quick save here, because this is going really well, honestly. Although he did stand up, so... Oh, he's fiendishly ascending again. That's bad news for us. We lose our bless. We did. That's okay. He's down to half health. a low chance to hit, though. That said, we did hit her. We did hit him. Oh, man. This is going... This is going away. We do still have Divine Intervention. We could just do this. This might be the best chance for us. Everyone has now had a long rest, effectively. Including her. So we got Divine Blessing. We can't do Bless right now, but I'm going to move back and do it in the next turn, I think. I need to get her away from this fight, though. I'm 
really sure what he's doing. I think he might be broken. He's become physics and not biology. Hope he fixes himself. Okay, well, yep, that's the thing that has happened. Why is our character taking 25 damage a turn? Unclear. Regardless, away we blast. Did some damage again. You can try and get uh, Hex back on him. I should have done that first, but... Oh, definitely worked. Damn it, should have done that first. Would have done some extra damage. It's fine, I guess. That at least was a good hit. Alright. Raphael's turn. Still hit us. But. Even worse. That, I don't know what that guy's doing. Okay, she's gonna go first. So we can get this bless back up. We need to move forward more. I also don't want to read too close because I really don't want to lose this spell again. Nope, that's the wrong spell. Okay, Bless is on. And then Mass Healing Word, of course, to try and get some hit points back, and then move back away as far as possible. Unfortunately, it's not far enough, I don't think. Man, this is gonna be such a. Can we please knock you down? What else can we do? Menacing attack, maybe? Try again with the menacing attack. I think we're just about to win, though. If we don't flub this up, I'm gonna save because we're so close, and if we have to save Scummit, we have to save Scummit in the end. But I don't think we're gonna need to, hopefully. He's a 27 life. We still have our main character and this weird guy left. And then we'll finally be done this massive fight. This was a really long fight. I mean, I think it's one of the, like, penalt not the penultimate fight of the game, but it's one of the main super fights of the game. And it's been kind of intense. And this guy is just straight up broken. Jurger is just... I don't know what he's doing. His turn should end automatically soon. And that is it. We've killed... Raphael. Absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Maybe we're not. We are. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. I pinch myself. <laughs> you are wide awake, and Raphael truly is defeated. Incredible as it seems, we really did defeat Raphael. Actually, I expected him to put more, up more of a fight. I was just about quite alright with the amount of fight he put up. If anything, I would have preferred less. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Can't believe we did it. That was <gasps> so good. But my poor sister, Carilla. Yeah, she's dead. 100%. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. You made her choice when she sided with Raphael in the first place. She was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm. And the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. What will you do? I'll hope. What else? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day. And that she'll say sorry. And I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years. And that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade. And memories of sorrow will die. And that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. A reward. Hope is finally free. We got gloves of soul catching. Your unarmed attacks deal an additional 1 to 10 force damage. 
You should have been a monk. Everything points to being a monk in this game. Once per turn, on an unarmed hit, you can regain 10 hit points. Alternatively, you may forego healing to gain advantage on attack rolls and saving throws at the end of your next turn. Con plus 2 up to 20. What's he got on him, though? Hell Dusk Armor. 21 armor class. You're considered, you're considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. When you succeed at a saving throw, the caster receives burning for 3 turns. Prime Ages of Fire. You have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. You take 3 less damage from all sources, and you fly. Also, Raphael's Diary, chapter 1, 2, and 3. We'll read those later. And some food stuff. Oh, we are encumbered, of course. I'm actually really curious. If I were to wear this armor, what would I look like? I'm just kind of curious. I look so cool. And I have 21 armor class. But I don't think that I can, just in terms of raw carrying capacity... <laughs> wear this armor. Although, maybe. I mean, it's great, and we have proficiency with it. I mean, it's 21 armor. On a warlock. That we're proficient with. We are encumbered, though. That is problematic. I'm gonna figure out our inventory situation later, but for now I'm gonna wear the armor. It looks really cool. Even though I am encumbered, these are all going to go to camp, including the breastplates. The only time you should really buy or use um, like ma unmagical things at this point of the game are when they're armor. For some reason, armor's worth, or armor is worth a ton, even compared to anything else. And then, of course, the trident plus ones. I don't think they're really... Actually, I think the armor might be worth more than the trident plus one. 100 versus 55, yeah, absolutely. Well, we did kill everything. And oh, we don't have our weapon right. We dropped the Orphic Hammer. Kind that. of important. I forgot we dropped that during the fight. It's a really good I checked that around because I completely forgot that it was on the ground there. That would have been super bad. Gorilla is dead, of course, and has garbage loot. Really bad. Not bothering with that. We should pro oh, Jurger doesn't want to talk apparently, so that's fine. I don't really think we need to loot everything, to be honest. I don't really need the Trident Plus Ones or the armor, so we're going to call it there, I think. In the next video, we'll leave this place, and we will continue on with the game. I'm going to try and finagle our inventory so that we can actually wear this armor. I might just give him... I mean, I know Minthara should... We should leave the Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength on Minthara, right? But, on the other hand, we could give it to our main character and have him just rolling around in cool armor. We still might be able to do this. I'm going to figure this out. Anyways, for now, I'll leave you guys here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Take care.